Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and tonight we are going to be taking the Pete Buttigieg official presidential survey. Fun times ahead. I have not yet taken this, so we are going to see what happens. If you like what I do, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and follow me on Twitter and Mods. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, I was trying to decide what I had wanted to talk about tonight. I was going through the real clear politics polling, trying to see maybe I wanted to do a pre-debate type of thing. Uh, I do want to I do want to cover that very quickly. Sanders winning twenty seven point eight percent, if you can see that. Seventeen point eight for Biden. That is not true. I do not believe that true is true. I don't think Biden could get 17.8% of the vote if you pulled everybody. If you voted, if all the Democrats voted right now, I don't think that number is true. Bloomberg sitting at 16.1 and Warren, then Buck Gig, and then, or Buttigieg, and then Klobuchar, Steyer Gabbard. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Biden is going to be getting 17.8% of the vote. Don't think that's true. But as I saw that, I noticed our, our friendly neighborhood mayor, Pete Buttigieg over here with his survey funded by or paid for by Stop Republicans. And I was like, all right, we're going to go ahead and take this. <laughs> Let's see what kind of a survey we got here. Oh, God. All right, Pete. Oh, that was easy. Uh, Pete wants my email address. There you go, Pete. Don't email me. <laughs> all right. Uh, how, how likely are you to vote? Or how likely are you to support people to judge in the Democratic primary? Um, I will not be voting in the Democratic primary, so I will not be voting for Pete Buttigieg. If he becomes the nominee, do you think Pete Buttigieg could defeat Donald Trump? Ah, good question. Good question. Um, yes. I, I do... But that's because it has more to do. <laughs> it has more to do with philosophy than anything. Literally anything could happen between now and November. It, literally anything. So to say that it, it it's like having something that is possible but unlikely versus something that is impossible. It's like, well, yeah, you're gonna pick the thing that's possible but unlikely. It's like, yeah, Pete Pete could win. It is it is physically possible. And actually, this could be a deliberately misleading question. Do you think he could? You're going to get people thinking exactly like I do. Yes, I believe he has the ability to do that. So, yes, I guess. I guess I have to put yes. <laughs> uh, do you think Pete would make a good president? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Um... Feel free to disagree with me on that one. It's more of a policy uh, policy type thing. I don't think he would. Um, for me, I, I also I don't think he has the experience. And, you know, Trump probably didn't either. So he was in business for a very long time. And that doesn't make you necessarily qualified to, to be president. But at the same time... I didn't really want somebody qualified. <laughs> I'm sick of everybody saying, "Ah, well, yeah, you you got 30 years of, you know, like Biden, like oh, I've I've been where I've been in the Senate for 30, I've been in the Senate for 30 years. I've been in the Senate for 4 years. Yeah, you've been in a corrupt system for 30 or 40 years. It doesn't necessarily count in your favor." Ah, oh, this is an interesting question. Do you think Pete would make a good vice president? So maybe um Maybe the Buttigieg campaign is trying to put some feelers out. See, hey, you know, maybe you want to pick uh, our boy here. Maybe you want to pick our boy here for, uh, for vice president. I could see that. Or I could see their campaign doing that. I don't think... I don't know of who would pick him. That's what I'm trying to say. I could see... I could see Biden picking him. 
I could see Bloomberg picking him, but there I think there's I don't think he's the most likely VP pick for any of the candidates. Probably is the best way to sum up. Do I think he'd make a good vice president? Well, there's a famous saying that uh, the vice presidency is not worth a warm jar of piss. So, uh, yeah, I, I do think you, uh, Pete Buttigieg could make a good vice president. Have you watched any of the debates so far in which Pete Buttigieg participated? Yes, I have. If you did watch any of the delegates, how would you grade Pete's overall debate performance? I would say good. I think that he's very good in the debates. That's his strong suit because he's he's very he is a smart person. He is very smart. He has there was one thing. It was the wine cave thing. So the wine cave thing was um, it came out that Pete was was having these donors over or, or donors and him were meeting in their wine caves and they were having these fundraising events in the in the wine caves so the democrats criticized him for that because they're trying to get big money out of politics or rather they were <laughs> and, and now they got now they got bloomberg um but when that happened and that criticism came out you could tell that he knew he was going to get a question from Warren about it and he had the response Re he had it ready and I think he uh, I think he successfully shifted the conversation um, I, I do I don't remember what happened but I remember him being um, unprepared for her follow-up question like he had the the response ready the, the pre-selected response he didn't have the the follow-up but I thought it was still good I think he does his best moments are in are, are in the debates. I don't know. Sanders is pretty good. Sanders has good moments. I don't think anybody else is good. But we'll see how um we'll see how mini Mike <laughs> Bloomberg does today. Uh okay. Considering only considering only the quality of his policy positions, how would you rate Pete Buttigieg as a presidential candidate i would say he's a below average candidate hmm. so i was gonna say he's a below average candidate but i don't think this is a fair question for me personally to answer because i i'm not a democrat so i don't think this is fair for me to answer but okay let's i'm going to compare him to the rest of the democrats um so I would say he's probably I mean he's he's probably among I don't like how this question this question isn't phrased for me I was gonna say I don't like how it's phrased but it's clearly not for me I'm not supposed to be taking this <laughs> but I'll put he's among the top few because there are some like Bloomberg and uh, Bernie and to a somewhat to the same extent Warren that I really don't want to see win um, so I would put him in among by process of elimination he, he, he's at the top okay considering only his electability his ability to beat Trump you have to explain that okay maybe he knows about impeachment 2.0 Anyway, how would you rate Pete Buttigieg as a presidential candidate? Um, in terms of electability, I don't think if if like I said earlier, if the election we're having to, today, I don't think anyone would beat Trump. I think that's pretty clear. But who would be the most likely? Uh, I would say he's he's also among he's among the top few, so I think that's fair. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Pete. Far right politicians like Mike Pence. Oh my God! <laughs> Come on, that guy is the most milk toast, boring human being on the planet. <laughs> uh, far right. Yeah. Uh, Mike Pence, he has some views on the um, 
LGBT community that I disagree with. Um, but to, to call the guy far right, he's a Christian conservative. Like, leave the guy alone. Far right. I, you're going to bash the guy like this. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Um, this is going to be. Okay. Um, like Mike and Pence. This almost seems personal. Because, you know, they're both from Indiana. This almost seems like. Like, I'm going to put a shot in at him. Anyway. Like, Mike Pence attack and demonize the LGBT community. Do you believe it is a good thing that Pete, Buttig that Pete Buttigieg is able to run competitively, competitively as an openly gay candidate in the Democratic primary? Is it, is it good that he's allowed to run? Uh, this is just a dumb question. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's good. Like, you have the freedom to do that. I guess that would be the good thing about it. I guess that's the point of the question. It's just, that's just, yeah, okay. Can, Patrick, you, you ran. Congrats, I guess, is the point. That's just a dumb question. I don't want to put this on Pete. He probably didn't make this. <laughs> like, let's let's be honest. I'm I'm using Pete in the second person, or I guess the third person. Whatever, I'm not a grammar person. I'm using him to represent this. He probably didn't write this. I'm sure he had to approve it, but he probably didn't write this. So I'll cut him a little bit of slack. Overall, do you approve of presidential? Uh, I would say neither. I neither approve nor disapprove. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, do you approve or disapprove of President Trump? I approve for now. For now. Still, I'm still keeping an eye out. There's some stuff going on with what's his face. Uh, of course, okay. Sorry, I, I read ahead. <laughs> There's some stuff going on with Governor or former Governor uh, Blagojevich. So there has been some news. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm I will be covering it once I feel that the story has um, run its course. Meaning, once all the information's out, I will be offering my two my two cents because I, as I have said. I'm very concerned about the party, the pardoning. I'm very concerned. And here we go. This is okay. So, all right. He he wants us to donate. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna donate. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, top Democrats are now 300% matching on our Act Blue page. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find out what this Act Blue page is. So if you donate. That's very interesting. So if you're if a regular person donates fifteen dollars, probably this super pack. Wait, I think this Act Blue is who. I oh know that was like the up, up, who who ran the poll was the opposition to Republicans. This is why I say I'm not a Republican either. This tribalism is toxic. Leave me alone. Tell me what your ideas are. Like I'm not. Like let's defeat the Republicans. We're all Americans. So this I I. I can't stand this type of okay all right so we have taken the we have taken the Pete Buttigieg survey thing <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty good I thought it was pretty interesting I'll, I'll see I'll see if some other campaigns have some weird like quirky stuff like this that that we can do I'm not gonna donate Pete hey you know that's just how it is sorry about that if you like what I do Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Oh, and watch the debate. Watch it. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.